this is it and imagine unaweza piga budget na hiki tukasukuma ka 20 bob unge ugali mtu wangu kona pale mtaani kanyaki unaweza shikata kachwani ama kamia na unapiga karanga yako hapo hivi kwa 2 feet una una dish na unasema thank you jesus na unaendelea na maisha Hello, hello, hello. It's another beautiful day. How's you guys doing? How you feeling? How's your week so far? I'm super excited to get to see you once again. And when you see me in the kitchen, you know it's about to go down and Katie Cooks is about all the looks and ah, woo, you got to book me baby girl. But anyway, kama kai kama kawa. This is Kitchen Safari where I get to take you on a journey with me. We get to experience food, we get to try out new recipes, we get to mix and do our thing and like I always say, your kitchen, your rules and this is my kitchen, my rules. So today we are going to be having an amazing show and I hope you guys you're super excited and you're ready for this. I am your host Kush Tracy. Kama kai kama kawa. Let us begin. Anywho, so as you all can see you're seeing the view beautiful fresh the vegetables are smelling so nice i don't know that you guys you've ever realized like like actually you can smell raw vegetables like you can feel the earth i think it's a thing but if you can see the veggies come okay you know we get all our vegetables from beyond fruits and they've been coming through and if you're looking to you know order your vegetables from the comfort of your home they got you because they do deliveries and they are all over kenya so you can just go on google and check beyond fruits ikowapi where are they which is the closest one then you get to go and, and um you get to order or you get to visit one of their shops apart from that as you can see we have vegetables and we have the containers from rock industry so if you're looking for containers for your storage for food cereals they got you if you're looking for um bowls they got you as well for holders they got you if you want a tray a b they got it you know whatever you need they got you so be sure to check them out and come a k to kona nyama nyama of course ni sha tengeneza hapa sababu leo kwenye recipe we are going to be making beef stew i'm a beef fry i'll decide as we continue with some sukuma wiki and some ugali i want to say ugala you know depending on where you're coming from you know it's never that serious and uh uh yes yeah, so our meat is here our meat is here it's already boiled from kamundia butchery kamake what to mombasa road wako hapo somewhere close to sgr so you can go check them out buy your meat store it in your freezer cook for your family throw it down when you're doing barbecues they got you they got fresh meat lean pieces and a lot of flavor so let's get to the cooking now cuz a girl has got to make something so guys tunatengeneza ugali so nataka maji yako ya kuchemka kwanza as i start to make the meat because you know sometimes when you're in the kitchen you're all about you know convenience chakula ina five pivot take take so you have to like multitask like this like that and that's the good thing when you have you know a four burner cooker that makes your work super easy so mafuta yangu ndio hiyo ishapata moto eh ukifanya hivyo unafanya hivi tu juu kidogo you just feel whether the heat is already there we are going to start off with onions i was dicing them into you know small pieces and that's why i like my bitungu when it comes to frying meat but although you can try out different ways of um of you know chopping your onions you can do the rings you can do you can cut them in halves so depending with what you like we're going to reduce the heat as we do this so vitunguzi kiendelea kuiva what i do i prefer like putting the hoho before the vitunguzi are like totally golden brown so that is in either is in either pamoja cuz otherwise vitunguzi zako zitaenda end up zimeungua so you can always do this earlier on i think that is enough and you continue you know you just keep on stirring they continue frying at least by the time the onions are turning to golden brown your two whole of yours that was me eva eva that is beautiful so as we are waiting for this to get you know more cooked i want to add some garlic you know shout out to tropical heat for coming through with the spices they do have a variety so depending with the flavor which you have as a person you can always you know try out the different spices 
and uh, see what you like. Apparently, when I talk now, I say when I kwaga, they are allergic to some spices. That's so interesting. Na kuna watu akulangi spice kabisa. But people like me, chakula bila spice, aki is a lie. I can't. I cannot. So ni meka kitungu saumu kidogo pe na letele arufu tamu unajua. And then it also has a very distinct taste. So that's one of the reasons why I do like cooking with um garlic. So either in powder form, mama, you use the cloves and then you just mince them or you chop them um, finely. Either way, either way, it can work. So here, Payetri Kendelea Yamani, we are almost throwing in the meat. And you know, I told you all, if you're looking for meat, Kamundia Butchery has you, has got you. Now, Kauna Taka Containers, Rock Industries, they really have um, different types of containers. And the good thing about their containers, the quality is really nice and the shape is really classy, so it will definitely look so good. Apo kwa jikoni yako. Pati na zungusha zungusha nyama. Joy fry. Nice fry for your mafuta before we go in with the tomatoes and the spices. So as y'all can see, this nyama is turn golden brown. So the next thing I want to do, I want to throw in the spices, then let it, you know, cook for a bit for like um, 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Then bring in the tomatoes, then bring in all the garnish at the end of it, and then we are gonna be dealing with our galai at the same time. Kwaivo nyamani, we need salt. We are going to go in with paprika. And most definitely some white pepper and of course chilies. Mini call chili but chili in moderation. You remember that episode where Carlos did the thing? Carlos alijaza pili pili ikakua ni tia gas. We could not eat. So for me, I like chili but chili in moderation. And this is just a side note by the way. Kuna venye kadufu kame weather na kapiri pili. Na tumetumia tui pili pili bado ya tropical heat. Some pili pili and some salt when I was boiling the meat, so your dufu it may come through. It may come through. But yes, so let's go in. Let's go in with the salt. Put in the salt. This is powder. So powder saying if you're not careful, it's not like flakes. If you're not careful, you can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. Then you can throw in some paprika. And last but not least, some white pepper. Just a bit. Like if you're using your teaspoon, just a, like an, a third, a third or a quarter of the teaspoon. That is enough, depending with the portion size. If you're making more food, you'll have to go in with a lot of spices. But for this portion, that is enough. So you keep on stirring, let it cook for 30 seconds to 45. Then we're gonna throw in the tomatoes. So for this, we just want the flavors and the spice to get into the mix. So as y'all can see, nyama zime shika iyo spice vizuri is naka golden brown. And the funny thing is, by the way, this is already like ready. You can literally have this in terms of fry. But since we are doing a wet fry, we are gonna bring in the tomatoes. So that we have that thick kind of stew. Ndo tunataka kutengeneza. Meka nyanya zako hapo ndani. And... You just continue stirring. Kwahim to realize I'm not going to add any water because nyanya zenyewe, they are juicy. So, so they're going to produce the stew which we need. Kwa hivyo tunazifanya tu hivi na tunaziwacha sasa zihizi. So 
Jamani. As you can see, like I said, ukizipatia time, the only thing you need to do is just keep on stirring so that the nyanyas can get, um, can zineza kuiva. Na, once they are cooked, as you can see, it's a very thick stew. So like I said, eh? Sengine ukitaka ile stew mzuri mchuzi wakula na ugali, enya pisi me aijaka uka sana na ita punyonga. This is how you can go about it. Sasa sababu hapa, this is uh, almost already. We are going to throw in some coriander. Today the recipe was beef and uh, ugali and uh, some sukuma wiki. Tukifunga wiki. Okay, sukuma wiki, how's your week going? <laughs> Sasa wacha turushe kadania. We are going to throw this in. Ah, that is beautiful. Oh, let's say this. Before people eat, they eat with their eyes. Unaona? Wanakula na macho, alafu wanakula na harufu. And you keep on stirring. Our beef is ready. Look at that. Woo! Washa dioje. Lakini misi yangu shagi. Girl child can be... Amepika ile stage, anaeza pikia familia. Na awata kuf dead. Chakule meweza. So majengi ugali ko ready tayari. So what I'm going to do, I'll do the ugali and the sukuma wiki simultaneously. Wadao, let's move on to ugali. Aya, so we are going to be making our ugali. And like I said, if you're looking for storage containers, rock industries, they got you. They have so many varieties which you can use to sow your cereal, your ungas, your rice, your pastas, your food in the fridge, in the freezer. They just got you. So check them out and buy yourself something. Just surprise me to angle. Like surely in this life you need to hashtag self-love. Buy yourself something for your kitchen. Sasa ugali. Tutaeka unga kidogo kidogo tukikoroga. Kidogo kidogo tukikoroga. Kidogo kidogo tukikoroga. Then we keep on just, you know, unasonga ugali mtu wangu, unasonga. Unasonga ugali. And the reason why I put some water aside is because I wanted to just do this. To avoid kubakisha ugali ikiwa na hizi vitu za, zinaitu aje? This white unga unga particle. Naenda tu kiongeza kidogo. So we keep on doing this. So tunaenda kwanzia hapa kwenye skuma. Skuma of course zisha katu wakatu wa vizuri. So the next thing you're going to do, start off with the onions. Oh, I love the sound of that sizzling of mafut. I don't know why. I find it therapeutic, but maybe it's just me. Maybe. So, kidogo ndo yoyo, tume tengeneza vitunguz kendelea kuiva. I'm going to put in the salt and then put in some garam masala just to spice up the sukuma wiki. I don't like boring food, so I don't know whether you're like me, but kuna watu wana prefer ikiwa plain. And kunoto na peda vitu spicy kama mimi. And uh, I'm not going to be using anything else. I'm just going to just use onions and the sukuma wiki. I'll make it that same for me. Najua kunoto na peda kweka tomato, kunoto na peda kweka sguinini. Everyone puts whatever they want to put. Like, hey, I say this. If it's your kitchen, it's your rules. Aya, awa bitungu ziko tayari jamani. Turning and turning and just playing around with the skuma wiki to make sure I shiki chini. Natia bitungu zingi ukundani zimik. We are going to do the presentation and then the kudimbo amtuango. This is it. And imagine when you have a budget to make it to cast kuma ka 20 bob, unge ugali mtu wangu koneo pale mtaani, kanyaki yone za shikata ka 20 ama ka mia, nuna piga karanga kwa pipi kwa 2 feet, nuna 
see una addition una sema thank you jesus na unaendelea na maisha by the way my future husband you will not sleep hungry job come here job is my producer you've seen him before So guys, we've come to the end of the show and oh my god, I can't wait to eat this food. But anyway, let me know what you'd like to see me try cooking and just share your recipe with us then we can, you know, decide what you're going to do about it. But come on, okay? Do remember to follow us on Instagram at switchtvke on Twitter um Twitter, Facebook and YouTube at Switch TV Kenya and of course you know I was your host Kush Tracy this was Kitchen Safari and until next week be blessed <laughs>